All right, hey VZ Vinyl Community, uh, we are back. My name is Jamie, and I got some more vinyl and CDs for you. These are generally all uh, kind of thrift store, uh, Goodwill, Value Village uh, kind of buys. So quite a mixed bag on this one. I'm going to start it off with an artist I was not familiar with at all, Robin Thompson. And uh, yeah, this is his debut album from 1976. And... It's nice American singer-songwriter guitar kind of stuff, but uh, when I was kind of perusing the album, it looked interesting, and then uh, taking a look at the back on some of the uh, uh, artists or some of the musicians playing on it, right off the bat I noticed Steve Cropper, lead guitar, or guitar on most of the tracks, so I was in with that. Uh, Steve Cropper uh, from Booker T and the MGs, if he's featured on guitar, I'm totally in. Then uh, perusing it a little bit more, noticing uh, Melissa Manchester on backing vocals, Timothy B. Schmidt also on backing vocals, and George Clinton on uh, backing vocals and also on synthesizers. So, like, I'm in. I'm totally in. And overall, it's good. It's American singer songwriter kind of stuff. A little bit funky, a little bit folky at times, but uh, overall, it's really it's a nice, nice album. As I say, this is an artist I wasn't really familiar with, and the album's in good shape. And lyrics included, and yeah, when you're surrounding yourself with Steve Cropper, you know, George Clinton, Timothy B. Schmidt, Melissa Manchester, can't go wrong. And uh, yeah, it's a nice album. It's an artist I would certainly like to discover a little bit more of, and I think he was based in Virginia, and uh, this f uh, photo on the back and the front was taken at uh, Broad Street Station, Richmond, Virginia, July 7th, 1976. So there you go. Not, uh, it's always kind of fun when you're discovering you know, new artists, you know, taking a chance, especially if the album's not too expensive, you can take a chance, and then it might come up uh, as an album you really enjoy. Okay, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, their second album. And uh, this is after Al Cooper, who founded the group, uh, left the band, although Al Cooper is still credited with arranging some of the songs on this album, and uh, getting Canadian uh, songwriter, singer-songwriter, uh, David Clayton Thomas on lead vocals. So this has uh, certainly the big hits that you're familiar with with Blood, Sweat, and Tears, like You've Made Me So Very Happy, Spinning Wheel, and also the song And When I Die. You know, again, the horns are still forefront. Uh, this is uh, certainly early enough still in their career. This really is a good album overall. Their second album, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, on Columbia. Nice uh, gatefold. And the cover's a little worn. And David Clayton Thomas, you know, he's a great vocalist uh, overall. I do like this... Uh, this write-up that they have just right up at the top here. Uh, Rebirth, Regeneration, and Triumph. Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Nine musicians, vital and diverse. Their rich musical tapestries will stun you. Brash and exciting. Their music is a wedding of rock and jazz. For you and for those who have waited so long with polished prose fancies, this album is a joy of vision and design. The freshest experience of its kind. There you go. And yeah, they did a lot of covers on this. Like, uh, You've Made Me So Very Happy is a Brenda Holloway song. And also, uh, And When I Die was a Laura Nairo song. Uh, they also do God Bless the Child, and they do uh, Smiling Faces, which is a traffic uh, song. But uh, Spinning Wheel, that song was written by David Clayton Thomas, but uh, yeah, this is a great album overall. Well worth it. All right, picked this one up at uh, one of the thrift stores or Value Village, that sort of thing, and was really, really pleased with it. Lou Rawls, Carrying On. This is on Capitol. I think this album came out in 1965, and Lou Rawls is absolutely terrific on this. I always remember sort of Lou Rawls from the 70s with the song You'll Never Find Another Love Like Mine, kind of, you know, with this very deep voice, and um, that had almost kind of a disco-y kind of sound, but this is like great bluesy R&B, great energy throughout this album. He's really singing his heart out, and this is really a terrific album. I'm going to have to check out more uh, Lou Rawls stuff from the 60s, uh, maybe like some, some of his Capitol stuff, and he does a cover of On Broadway, also uh, The Beatles Yesterday, but when you got tunes like Mean Black Snake, Walkin' Proud, You're Gonna Hear From Me. This is terrific stuff, and this was on Capitol. I'm not going to show you the inner sleeve, obviously, not the original, but uh, there you go. Lou Rawls, carrying on. Okay, now I picked this one up. Uh, I, I, I picked it up mainly because of the, the artwork that was involved. Uh, Bay City Rollers, 
This is their second album, and uh, this is called Once Upon a Star. And uh, this is not necessarily a very memorable album. I mean, it kicks off with a cover of the Four Seasons Bye Bye Baby. And I think the only real hit from this was Keep On Dancing. And this is real pop, like early 70s pop at its, at its well, what it is. And there you have the boys all in their tartan vest. But it was, it was, and I picked this up at one of the, the thrift stores or whatever, so it didn't cost very much. But it was, I've never seen artwork quite like this. All of these pictures of the boys, they all come out, and then they give you full, full look here. So you got to, who, which one was that? That was Leslie. And then you've got Stuart. And these all just pop out, and there's nothing on the back of them. And then you've got Eric. And then you've got Derek, and last but not least, the guy who always thought, thought looked uh, kind of the oldest in the band, uh, Alan. And so they all pop out, and then the, the album is just in behind there. And this is on Bell, classic label there, but yeah, I just have never seen artwork quite like that before. Bay City Rollers, their second album. Oh, an absolute master. Ray Charles, A Man and His Soul. This is a double album best of. And this is uh, notable for being a Canadian. This is uh, through ABC, but this is a Canadian pressing on the Spartan Command label, or the Spartan label. Uh, this was a record label out of uh, London, Ontario, Canada, so close to where I am. And uh, yeah, they put out a number of uh, albums over the years, uh, kind of dealt with the ABC uh, mainly for distributing. And uh, this is kind of nice. This is a, two, a deluxe two-album set, complete story and photographs, and the booklet is uh, included, like it's stapled right on inside. So it's a... Uh, just a wonderful double album, and it gives you just everything you need in terms of Georgia on my mind, hit the road, Jack. Nice vintage photos there, really, really nice. Georgia on my mind, hit the road, Jack. Uh, you are my sunshine. You've got also uh, let's go get stone, unchain my heart, can't stop loving you. What I'd say, the man, Ray Charles, absolutely terrific. But yeah, on the Spartan, I can show you the uh, label. This is uh, yeah, manufactured by Spartan of Canada, London, Canada. So London, Ontario, Canada. So uh, kind of neat. And I think reading up a little bit on uh, the Spartan label, which I wasn't really familiar with, uh, they were the first in Canada uh, to release uh, stereo uh, records uh, back in the late 50s. So the Spartan label out of London, Ontario. Very cool. Okay, and I uh, came across this one. Uh, this is Frankie Crocker's Heart and Soul Orchestra presents the Disco Suite Symphony Number no. 1 in Rhythm and Excellence. There you go. Uh, Frankie Crocker was uh, a DJ out of uh, New York City, and I'm sure he was on various other stations throughout, throughout his career. This one came out in the mid-70s on the Casablanca label. I think uh, 76 or 77. This is actually a double album, but uh, just available on the... Single jackets, so no gatefold, but it's got the great Casablanca sleeves. And this is all pretty much instrumental. I haven't gotten my way through the whole album, uh, double album yet, but it's pretty heavy disco, all instrumental from what I've been listening to. But at least it gives you enough of the sort of the bass and the bottom end to keep it at least a little funky. But uh, there you go. That is quite a title. Disco Sweet Symphony Number no. 1 in Rhythm and Excellence. And there's the back there. Frankie Crocker, there you go. And I've uh, got time to show you a few CDs that I've picked up. It seems that some of the thrift stores have been having slightly better luck with some of the uh, CDs and whatnot uh, available. But uh, still some great selections in vinyl overall. Uh, I got this. This is Frozen Ghost, a Canadian band. This is their first album uh, featuring Arnold Lenny. Or Lanai. Uh, he was with the band Sheriff, and they had the big hit to When I'm With You, and then I think it was the lead vocalist with Sheriff went on to the band Alias, and then Arnold uh, formed the band Frozen Ghost. This came out in 1987, and as you can see from the hair, it's great 80s pop, pop rock, but they had a lot of radio hits. Should I See, Promises, also End of the Line, uh, to name a few. So they only just put out a couple of albums, but uh, good 80s pop uh, overall. Okay, so there's that, and then uh, from the East Coast, from Sydney Mines, uh, Nova Scotia, we've got the Barra McNeils in Concert. Barra McNeils in Concert, and this is great East Coast fiddle music, Celtic uh, influence, 
and just a great band. A band that's been around, I think, almost 30 years now. Still going strong, still playing lots of concerts, but uh, this is just a great CD, the Barry McNeils in Concert. And uh, maybe one more for you, we got the Gypsy Kings. Always like the band, the Gypsy Kings, and this is the very best of. So it's got pretty much everything you need from the Gypsy Kings, and a nice compilation that uh, came out, it looks like something like uh, 2005, 2006. Gypsy Kings. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thanks so much for stopping by, and uh, love the comments, and uh, hit subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.